Yo, 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 Amiblo. It's Josh with Deprived Productions and a 15th material tutorial for the Unreal Engine 4. And we got this little white plane here. And underneath it, I got another one. But we're going to talk about tessellation. I'm going to tell you why. It's because we've talked about it, but we ain't really touched on it. But we're going to touch on it. We're going to make like a fluid, a clear fluid, so we can move this plane. This plane will actually see the bottom here, like the floor, okay, this little floor. And at the top, we want to actually be able to see through it. So a fluid, we can see through with some tessellation. And tessellation means it's going to kind of come out of the mesh, like the normal map, but it's really going to bend and shape the mesh. So right-click, Material. I'm going to name it TT, because, because TT. All right, let's, uh, let's double-click, and we got this bad baby. Now, I'll move it over, because I always do, because you know how I do. We're in 4.19, by the way. I'll set it to the plane. I'm going to go ahead and warn you right now, this, this material is pretty resource-heavy, just showing you a lot of cool new things. we got a lot to do before I even show you the tessellation. That's last, so let's build this material. Let's right-click and type in radial for radial gradient exponential, because we've used that a thousand times. Plug it into the base collar, and we'll get our dot. Okay? Got the dot. We need to hold the number one two times, because we're going to change a couple of these values. Of course, the radius and the density. The radius will set to one. Okay. Actually, we're going to set them both to one. Radius and density, we're going to set them both to one. So there we go. We got our dot, and it's all spread out now, and we're looking. You're like, I don't know, man. I don't like that. Well, just check it out. Alt-click. Let's get rid of that. Come up here. New variable. I want you to type in time with speed variable. New node here. Apologies. We got this thing right here. You're like, uh, what's that do? Okay, well, if I plug it into base collar, it's not going to do anything. Oh, oh, oh it's okay. It's, it's already got a little speed to it. So I think the speed is naturally set to one, I'm assuming. Okay. So we could change. We could hold the number one. Okay. And plug it in here. And if it's set to zero, we might not get anything. Nope. It's set, to, set it to 0.25 for me. Okay. Now we'll actually see it kind of go black and then fade. And, okay. You're like, okay. Well, here's what I want you to do. I want you to drag these bad babies back here a little bit. Okay. We're going to add them together. Okay, hold the letter A and plug this into this and plug this into this and let's plug that into our base collar and let's just see what it does. Okay, it's literally just taking our image now and it's starting with that and going to white. It's not really what we're looking for, right? Check this out. Let's drag it back a little bit more because we're going to need that room, son. It's a big old one. It's, it's real big. Right click and type in the word sign. Okay, now plug this into our sign. Okay, we can actually drop the window down and kind of see that. Okay, we got, we got that going on. So if we plug that into base collar, what do we got now? Okay, we got a little, we got a little something happening. You see what I'm talking about? Go into the sign. It's set to one. How about, uh, how about point two, son? Got a bunch of rings. They're all moving. I'm going to save that. Okay, go back out here to our mesh. Make sure it looks good. That's exactly what I'm talking about. Okay, boom. We got to drag it on there now. Smack. Okay, that's not it. It's awesome, but it's not what we're looking for at all. But we got the, we got the start, okay? We can make some waves out of this, kind of some ringy-looking waves, like you're, something's dropping into like a little puddle, okay? Let's go ahead and get moving, okay? So what we're going to do is we need a normal map. I know that sounds crazy, but we need a, our own normal map, so we're going to make one. I'm going to tell you how, too. Is let's make some more room because it's getting bigger. So keep getting bigger. Lerp by pressing, holding the letter L and clicking right here, right here, right, 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 wait. Wait, we can do this. We can do this. Oh, no. There it is, wrong button. Okay, so plug this into the alpha, okay? And the thing is, we need two collars, not numbers. So hold the number three and hold the number three. And the top, we want it to be blue for like the flat of a normal map. So zero, zero, and two, okay? And then the second one will make it uh, the height. Oh, no, actually, see, that was set. I actually set it the wrong one. So go ahead and set this in the top, okay? My fault. You want blue in the top, okay? And you want this guy to be the other two collars. So this one's going to be two red, two green, and zero blue, okay? And we'll plug that into the normal. Now, you're not going to be able to see big of a, diff or a big difference here, okay? It's a, it's a limited normal map, but hey, you can kind of see, see the light kind of changing the way it looks like. So what it'll look like, kind of, and not, main, not a lot, but it'll kind of look like the white. It's coming out of the black a little bit, a little white coming out of the black. So it kind of looks like the white is almost come, like risen up off of the mesh, kind of, but it's not if you get flat down, okay? That's where tessellation comes into play. We're going to bring this thing to life. But we've got one more thing to do first. This is where things get expensive, and I apologize. We need to set our material to be translucent. Mm-hmm. Translucent. Default lit's fine, but we need to drag. We need to go on down here, okay, and set this right here, this volumetric, non-directional lighting mode. need to change it down to the bottom one here, okay, forward shading. Now, what happens here is it opens up all these and opacity and refraction. Okay, so now it starts taking a long time, as you can tell. So check this out. I want you to hold the number one for now, because we know one thing for sure. I want you to plug this into opacity, and I don't want it to be completely see-through, but let's set it to one. 
And let's let that load up real quick and see what we get. Okay. Okay. You know what I'm talking about? We got we can barely see it now. You know what I'm talking about? I'm gonna actually end up getting rid of the base collar altogether because we're not gonna need it. But we need the refraction first. Because see, if I get rid of this, all it will be is nothing. It'll be just the normal map, but there's no collar, there's no nothing. It's just it's it's white pretty much. So, so we, we have to actually make the refraction use the normal map to to like refract the light so it actually that's how we're going to use this so actually unplug base collar now okay and i want you to go down here and type in frenel f-r-e fresnel frenel Fren frenzel whatever you want to call it's fine we need to lerp this bad baby so hold that number l the number l alpha okay and we need two constants the number one right no big deal we've done this before let's kind of clean this up because we're running out of space because we just keep on getting bigger and it's gonna get bigger and bigger plug both of these into that this into refraction now I want you to set this first one to the one, which is what the blue is gonna be. But this, we want it to come out a little bit. You know, we bend a little bit. So instead of just one, 1 1.33. So bend a little bit on that, and like kind of like water would. It would kind of like bend it a little bit. Okay, so let's actually save it and let's go out and see if we can actually see anything. And again, it'll take a few seconds to save. So I'm actually gonna have to skip ahead a second. Boom, saved. Oh, you kind of see something happening there. Let's go out here. Snap. What is that? Okay. We're getting there, okay? We're see, we got like some fluid. It looks like some little, some little, some little, little uh, puddle, little puddle. And as you can tell, that's kind of refracting the light. Now you can see it, okay? You can see the ring has that weird looking fade. It's kind of reflecting, refracting, and kind of bending. Now you may want to play with those values. That's fine. It's up to you. But this is just what I'm using at the moment. But like I said, the one thing about this is if we click on the plane, it's still flat. It's flat. So when you actually zoom way down, it's nothing. Yeah, looks good from here, maybe, or from over here, the right angle, you know what I'm talking about? But it's time to add the tessellation. I'm going to tell you how right here. World displacement and the tessellation multiplier. World displacement is actually what we're going to use to use our tessellation. This is what we'll plug into. And tessellation multiplier is actually how many? It's like almost like the 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 division of the triangles, like how almost like how high res you want it to be. It's really, it's really interesting. But they're, they're both grayed out, and you're like, why? But to tell you why, son. We're going to scroll down now that we have the material selector where we did our translucent stuff. Keep on scrolling. We'll scroll. Just go scroll. Oh, oh, there's a tessellation right there. It says no tessellation. Well, that's wrong, son. That's wrong is what that is. Click on that and pick triangles. Okay. Oh, it disappeared, but you've come back. Oh, you scroll out a little bit. Yes, we got them. Okay. So we need a new node here. Okay. It's right. It's called, or not a new node, but a different node here called vertex normal. MWS. Yes, right here. This is what we need. It's getting bigger, guys. It just keeps on getting bigger. We're going to have to make more room because it's bigger. Okay, so what we need to do now is we need to multiply a couple things. We need to hold the letter M to get that multiply. Mm -hmm. And we need to multiply this vertex normal WS. My God, I'm running out of room, guys. I'm so, I'm so running out of room right now. It's out, of, it's out of control. Get on in there, son. Don't be scared. Just go on in there. Oh, let's drag it up here. We need to multiply this by our sign. So kind of like, you know, we alpha that thing. So we're going to multiply this by this. Okay, so here's our map. And we're taking it, and basically, if we plug this into the world displacement, it'll be like, okay, cool, we're going to use that as the height map. You know, black being on the bottom and white being up, and it's like, cool, got it. Based off the mesh, based off everything, the vertex normals of the mesh. Here's the problem. We need a value for it, too. So we need another multiply, another one. And we plug this into that, and we need to hold the number one, okay? And this will be our strength, whatever number this is. And we're going to set it to five. Yes, sir, ma'am, whatever. And we're going to plug that finally into world displacement. Drag it back and just hold the number one one more time to get one more constant value. Plug it into tessellation multiplier and also set that to the number five. Not 50. Don't do it. Okay? Don't do it. Sorry. Now, we're done. It's a mess. It's huge. I like it. Now, it's cool, though. You know, it's kind of, we could be a little more, uh, be a little more, uh, be a little more, be a little more uh, organized. You know what I'm talking about? Let's let this save real quick. And then we'll check it out and see if the tessellation worked properly. Oh, look at that all bending. That's what I'm talking about. Okay. And what's it look like out here? Oh, ho, 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 ho. Look at it now, baby. It's got that bend to it. You know what I'm talking about? The, 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 the little waves are actually coming up off the mesh. Now, again, adjustable? Absolutely. I'm just picking some numbers here that I think work for the time being, just for the purpose of this tutorial. But you can kind of see it now. If I press the, press the G key to unclick that where you can't see it, you can actually still see it. You can see it actually not only bending, but actually coming out of the mesh. It, it looks like it, of course, with the normal, but now it's really happening. Definitely better if you're close to it. And definitely, I mean, in the right area, you know, the right spot, if this was actually being used correctly over like a beach or something like that, and the tessellation kind of moved up the uh, up the sand line, the shoreline there, that'd be freaking awesome. You know what I'm talking about? So yeah, a little, little tessellation fluid. You know what I'm talking about? A little fluid for you. A little, uh, 
see-through stuff. You know I'm talking about? Can't see it. It's almost invisible, but it's moving, so you can see it a little bit, Predator. All right, guys, appreciate you watching. Josh, again, with the Proud Productions. Subscribe to that channel. We got all kind of UE4 and Blender and Pro Tools tutorials. We got all kind of music. Hit the uh, Facebook page, Deprived Productions. Guys, get involved. We're killing it. Almost 500 subscribers. Love you guys. Miss you guys. This is great. Uh, check it out, man. Do some do some tessellation, okay? A little water action, too. Like Kind of like a water. More like a puddle. You know what I'm saying? But still, just something neat you can do and kind of get this kind of look for it, okay? This kind of look right here. If you're if you're looking for something like this, you kind of know what to do. Maybe like a puddle of water. People are stepping in. It kind of happens when they jump in it. Set some blueprints up and make it all happen. And hit me up, man. Let let me see what you got. Let me see what you can create, okay? Love you guys. Have a good one. Peace.